Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I've been trying to get this one done for a while now. And you can see we're doing a tier list. And I just want to take a quick second to explain here. Uh, as far as tier lists go, we this one is going to be comprised of what I have gotten from them. Like the ranking I'm going to go off of is what I've pulled from them and then the overall content of what you can get out of the case. So there's going to be, there's some discrepancies here, but we're going to start with the abominable case right here this one I'd honestly say it's about average after taking my break from TF2 uh, this was the first case I opened up before I started making videos in that and I got my shell mitt yeah and I had a and I painted it Australian gold but that's one of the Good ones out of this. The forest footwear, very good. The nuke, the attack packs, the croaking hazards, pretty cool. And then the diamond eyes for the pyros, pretty good. And then the jungle jersey. And there's also another toad in this called the tropical toad. It's one of the assassin grade cosmetics that for the engineer. And I think it's pretty good. And from here, we will go on to the Blue Moon case, which this one is going to be our first superior case. Is just the amount of unusuals that I have unboxed from this have included, but are not limited to, the Antarctic Eyewear, the Sky High Fly Guy, the Hedgehead, the Tundra Top, the Punk's Pomp, and a starboard crusader as well as me buying a unusual burning question and then going outside of the hats this has some of the better um, torso cosmetics like the assassin's attire the hot case the czar platinum the white out wraps the veterans attire and then Scourge of the Sky, Blizzard Bridges, Cold Case, they're all good. And then I also have a loadout with Private Maggot Muncher and Aristotle. As well as this case also included the Robin Walkers, which is pretty which was a pretty entertaining one. But yeah, just top to bottom, this case is the most solid out of all of the cases that you could probably find. And we'll do these two back to back. The confidential and the quarantine cases. The items that you get from both of them. Kind of limiting the space stuff, but not too bad. Because one of my favorites out of the quarantine collection is the star duster which is a decent all-around look and then um, the frobros filter is pretty good too and then in the confidential case you guys have seen how many of those have opened up the cadet visor and the Graylian are just good all-around cosmetics but then the capper and the or in the bat saber are two of my favorite reskins of stock weapons like the shooting star is all right it's like the only other weapon i'd like to get is a geiger counter and then i would have all of the weapons now from the quarantine case or from the um invasion update cases it's just like top to bottom pretty solid all around and then from there go to the crimson cash case 
which I'd say this one falls into the about average because for every good hat there's a bad one and then there's stupid things like the spooky head bouncers the tricksters treats the creepy crawlers the um second head headwear i think was stupid and i'm not the big like i get it it's kind of like the Scariest mask ever is kind of funny, but not the funniest after you see it for like the 10,000th time. But yeah. And then from here, we'll move on to the end of the line, which. I'd honestly have to say it's absolutely solid. The amount of just good all around good winter slash cold items in this is great. Like you got the snow sleeves, the North Polar Fleece, the insulated interview insulated inner innovator, the Brooklyn booties, the double dynamite, the cold snap cap, the condor cap cold snap coat and then the double dog dare demo pants and then the winter woodsman all beautiful freaking taunt they're all beautiful hats and then you got the crossing guard which just nice all cl all class stock melee reskin and then the pool party which is also pretty fun taunt and from there we will go to the gargoyle case, which this one I have not opened a lot of, but I use this. This one's probably about average, if not almost it's like right in the middle of those two almost, but I think the good outweighs the bad in this like, um, the Face of Mercy, pretty good one. The Helmet, pretty cool hat. The Smoky Sombrero, the Thrilling Tracksuit. Then um, we also have uh, Scout's first ever um, pirate loadout coming out of this one. And this one gives you the row boot for the NG. And then my favorite hat out of this one was Neptune's Nightmare. It's a pretty fun, it's a pretty cool looking hat for him. And then there's also the Grim Tweeter, which is just an adorable little bird that'll sit on your shoulder and bring death, will help you with your death bringing. And let us not forget the duck billed Hatapus and the prehistoric polo. Pretty good. And then we'll jump to last year, the Ghoulish Gains case, which this one, this, this one, I will give it a absolutely solid just because I got two different Nightbane Brim unusuals and they were both Halloween effects, which was so nice. And, um, this one had some other good ones, like the Morgan Marshall was good. The turncoat for the spy was good. The cranial cowl, the alcoholic automaton. And then, um, oh, this also gave the pseudo Dr. Robotnik loadout to the medic, as well as giving us the headhunter's brim for sniper and then the dust bowl devil for the engineer, both beautiful hats love those two to death so yeah it, 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 it can stay an absolutely solid and from there we will go to one of my more recent unboxings with these next two with the infernal reward paint or paint cases and i'll say like this is superior to any other 
four pints. And then the Saxon, I'd say, is about average. But we'll start with the Infernal Reward. With just the Bloom buffed, the cardboard box is all right. But the Bloom buffed, the Star Crossed, and then the Quack Canvas are so good. And then you move on to the next tier up from there. The purple, the dark purples with the clover camoed, the pizza polished, the bank rolled, and then the kill covered. And then from there, the assassin's grade with the bonk varnish, dream piped, and freedom wrapped. And then finally, your elite tier for that case is the fire glazed. And all of them just look outstanding as far as war paints are concerned in my opinion and then you take a step back you get less of a spread of them with the jungle jackpot cases and it's like in my opinion the best ones out of it are the macaw mast and then the banana peel the rest of them are all right but it's like Tiger and Leopard print, basically. And then Bamboo print. The Park Pigmented one for the Mercenary for Mercenary Park is alright, but it's still, it's, to me, it's... I don't think it's the best. And then we will go to... The 59... And I do believe this one I pretty much opened solely just trying to get a Miami Knights effect on something. Because there's nothing special in this one. It's the Karuki, the Hugh Long Heater, and the Enforcer. It's like, alright, but I was... Series 3 Unusual Effects is what I was going for, which include Kilowatt, Terrawatt, Cloud9, Aces High, Dead Presidents, Miami Knights, and Disco Beatdown. They're all right. And while we're here looking at these, I will throw the other ones in there now that fit, which is the 90 and the 92. But let me double check that to make sure. Oh, yeah, 92 it wasn't unusuals only, but kind of fits in completely mediocre because I that's what 92, 92 mm, that was my strange crits creek. In that case, apart from that, is completely horrible. But the 90 is the uh, op is the upper hand cases. Cow Mangler, Third Degree Strange Fire, Strange Winger. I opened up a fair share of these trying to get a... or messing around with the chance of getting an upper hand. But mostly for Miami Knights effects. Because I'm a big Miami Knights fan. But my one gripe with the number 90 case. And I, and if I really felt like it, I, could, I would drop it to its own non-existent tier. It's because you got the upper hand, which is just a stock reskin. Cool. Whatever. That doesn't offend me. What offends me is that the goddamn caber. The Ulapool Caber has the same drop rate as the upper hand of a 0.5%. And as you guys know, I enjoy my cases, or I enjoy my demo gameplay and Bomber Knight as, as it are, or as it is, and it is really not that good. And then the 
you 71, and you 76, and then the 83 all were there, as well as the 85, I do believe. No. Let me double check my 85 real quick what was in there. But most of those were just Series 3 unusuals that I was after. Now, 85 is completely mediocre. Because 85 is all Stranger Fires. And the best Stranger Fires that you can get out of it are the Stranger Fire for the Classic. I'm talking if you want your money back. Um, the Anger Strange Fire. And then the Apparitions Aspect Strange Fire. And then the 1% chance of a Widowmaker Strange Fire. So, yeah. And then... We move on to the Robo Community Update Case. Doo, 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 doo. Which, the amount of... This one's about average. It is all, like It can't be in completely mediocre. For the simple fact... That... It... Goes... All... It has so much in it like it is probably one of like if you're just going for any type of hat that you want that could like just or anything but it's like you just want something different this would be your crate to go for because it's like you got something for every class you got something for all classes in there it's got everything you could imagine and from there we will go to the Scream Fortress 12 War Paint. Which I'd have to say is about average. Uh, the best ones out of this one were the Death Deluxe, the Portal Plastered, the Raving Dead, Hell Driver. And then the spectrum splattered. But it's like nothing too crazy there. And the cosmetic crate from Scream Fortress 12 will go into completely mediocre. Because this one, there's not enough good to outweigh all of the horrible that's in it. The All Howls hat is alright. The Balloon of Corpse, meh. Gordgrin, decent. The Seared Sorcerer, decent. Everything else in this thing, apart from the Howled Helm and the Handsome Devil. Trash. Sir Pumpkinton, get that shit out of here. Semi-tame Trapper's Hat, meh. The Misfortune Fedora, stupid. Firetooth, stupid. Impish Ears, ICU, Goblin Ear. Get that trash out of here. There is nothing good about this case apart from the few outliers. And I know a lot of people love King Card Beer. I don't like it. I think it's cheap. And from there, we'll go to the Scream Fortress 14 case. Eh, in the war paint. Is, and I'll put that in completely mediocre as well. The best one out of this hat, or out of this case, was the Hypergon War Paint. And the Ghoul Bust Blaster. Those are alright. But it's like, Bonzo the All-Knowing, meh. Health and Hell has two different War Paints. It's got the teen colored variant, and then the green one the metalized soul meh pumpkin plaster chili autumn sun meh. it's like there's nothing really that good with these and then from there 
Let's go to the do, do, do. This one always confuses me where it's at. Why does this blue one always confuse me? It's not the venomous violet. Oh, spooky spoils. This one? Not average. It's on the borderline of being almost good enough to be solid, but there's enough that doesn't sit well with me. Like, in my opinion, the best, the cool hats out of this one or the bread biter because it gives you more bread loadout possibilities. The Hannibal Lecter loadout for the medic. Fuel injector for the scout. Binoculus, good all around one. El Mustachio, good all around one. Soviet Strongman, pretty all right. Skull Barrero, pretty awesome. Head of the Dead, very good. But then, like, and then the Voodoo Vizier, that's pretty good too. It's like the rest of it, meh. And I should. I don't know. It just it doesn't scratch the itch for me. And from there, we will go to. Oh lord, my summer cases are out of whack. I think that's summer twenty nineteen. This one, it's about average. It's got the um, shutter bugs, pretty good one. Dancing does meh. Mediterranean mercenaries, all right, but it does have probably my favorite hat for the scout, the bottle cap, as well as one of the better beards for demo, the Unforgiven Glory. And then the Peacemaker and the Texas Toast are all right. But it's like... Only other good thing in this case, I'll be honest, I think is the Spawn Camper for Pyro. It's a pretty cool backpack. And it's like... And then... The Wagga Wagga wear is all right. It's not spectacular or anything, neither is the Dynamite Abs. Or the brain interface although the brain interfaces you can match that to make a pretty decent um, century look century loadout for your ng and then from there we will go to another superior case with the 2020 summer cosmetic case and just the small assortment of some of my favorite hats the mama keeve not a hat but the flatliner and the sophisticated smoker i'm actually gonna have to just move this to solid because there's some stuff that brings this down and then you got hypno eyes which is pretty good and you have some weird ones like the california cap it's just another ball cap and I know Scout, Baseball, yada yada has a lot of them, whatever. But the Head of Defense, it's alright. The Bizarre Bobble, kinda dumb. The Hazard Headgear, kinda dumb. Breach and Bomb. Literally, there is a old helmet for Heavy that's the same thing. Um, the Flamehawk, it's kinda mid. The Hawk Warrior. Why the hell does it is that an assassin's grade? Like, why? It just looks so awkward on everything. But it's like the Mama Keeve, the Bird's Eye Viewer, the head, the Bread Crab, and the, the Loaf Loafers, pretty, pretty solid on their own. As well as the Smoking Jacket. And the Head of Defense is pretty alright too. As well as the Firefighter and the Soda Spikes. It's solid. Not enough to put it up into that next tier, though. And then, got the 
there we will go to summer 21. And this one, I'd honestly say it's about average for my case. Because it's like, I'm almost tempted to put it in mediocre just because it has the thousand yard stare. I, I hate that hat. I think it's so stupid. Giggly eyes. <laughs> Giggly eyes. And then the water waders and the real fly hat are kind of meh. Crocodile dandy. It's pretty good. Wild broom slouch. Pretty good. Mandatory attire. Pretty good. But then you got like the panisher. The fried batter. The ro Roaming rope is pretty good. But like the hook, line, and cinder, meh. Rim of fire is all right, but the two punch man, it's like, come on now, are you kidding me? Then the sight liner's pretty all right too. From there, we go to what I would almost want to say. It's tie for these two, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in superior. Cause there's nothing totally stupid with this one. Like you have like just to start some of the loadouts that you can get are um so for we'll start with Soldier. You can get the detective and the chaser to give yourself a PI look. And then you get Demo's vacation loadout with the barefoot brawler and then the Hawaiian hangover. And then the soda cap and fizzy pharmacist for the medic, which that one is like a 1950s corner shop, or malt shop. Worker vibe to it. It looks pretty. It's pretty cool. I like it. Then you got two different ones for Scout in this. You got the pseudo biker with the ripped rider and the throttle head, and then you got the um, rugby player with the Boston brain bucket, the team player, and then the pest pads. And then heavy. You had him as 1920s, 1930s worker with the squatters, right? And then the combat casual. Straight up gave Spy the Tom Clancy splinter cell look with the night vision gawkers and the tactical turtleneck. And then, apart from Demo being on vacation, Sniper went on vacation because he's got the tropical camo and the Hawaiian hunter both are great then there's also the headbanger pretty all right hat lunch i can't even pronounce it um, monsieur grin louis it's a hat for spy that literally just has it's a beret with a frog and then a fr and then on top of the frog there is beret on him as well then you got rocco the sniper which was pretty cool and then the decorated veteran as an all-class fedora it's got three different styles the elite the commando and then the civilian civilian is just basic team color commando there's a red and blue variant for every class and it is very awesome and then the elite, every class has their own one as well. And some of them are color matched to red and blue. Some are not. But it's like, nine, it is like far and away one of the most solid cases. And then from there, we'll go to this year's summer case, which I just say solid yeah 
You got a Blues Brothers loadout for the Soldier. Sherlock Holmes loadout for Pyro. the cargo constructor and the hazmat handler for uh, blue collar engineer the worms load out with the close quarters cover and the stealth bomber for the soldier like I think the big things that are lacking in this one are just like the hot the hog heels heavy metal brother man load out for heavy and then the one f then the shrapnel shell for demo is pretty meh from there we will go on to the war paint case for that which it's about average there's team service secretly serviced which are all it's the same thing just instead of team colors it's black service Pacific Peacemaker and the bomb carrier all right uh, Warborn's pretty good so is the deadly dragon and the sky stallion but it's like business class and mechanized monster and steel brush are kind of meh overall and from there I'll be going back to the Unleash the Beast case. So this one I had a tough... I have a tough time picking where this one goes. I almost feel like it should be about average. Just for... I don't know. The Feathered Fiend is what kind of does this one in for me. That and the Fat Man's Feel Cap. So the Feathered Fiend... If you just have it plain, the lips on some maps come turn pink instead of just being red. It's very weird. So, I was thinking, you got all these for all the unlocked class crates. And to be honest, I'm just going to use the all class crate and I'm going to put it in the absolutely solid category. Because while I have not pulled an unusual from every individual class crate, I did pull my first unusual from the all class crate. It was the Vivid Plasma Federal Casemakers Fedora. And you guys have seen the unusuals I pulled from the heavy cases. And I forget if I pulled one from any others. Maybe Scouter Demo or Sniper, I forget. But it's like, rather than just rank all of them individually, like, I'd, the all class counts for all the classes and itself and absolutely solid. Because even if you're just trying to get some random cosmetics, some misks, like these crates are the best way to do it, in my opinion. And from there, we will go to the first of the winter cases. Let's move these so I can get them all queued up right. But uh, that would be this one right here, the Unlock 2016 cosmetic case. And to be honest, this one has got some decent ones in it. It's nothing too crazy. But it has probably two, maybe three of my favorite hats. Or cosmetics, rather. The Santa Archimedes and the hack back, Hackable Provisions are amazing. And it's, I'll be honest, probably about average. It's like, uh, I know I've seen it a lot with Pyro the Flame Deer and the Head Prize is used a lot. And it's about average. Ain't nothing too crazy about it. And from there, 
we will go to the winter 2018 case. Which this one, I'd honestly say is absolutely solid. You got the fun, fun ones in this one include the breadhead, the polar pal, Harry the cat, the mighty mit miter, and the climbing commander, as well as the pack of parka, the catcher's companion, and the wise whiskers. And like even the more mediocre ones in this, like the millennial mercenary, it still looks good. It's very well done. Like I think honestly, the weakest one in this is probably the pocket admin. Which is just the little voodoo doll of the admin. It's like, yeah, it's absolutely solid for what you can get out of there. Now this one, I'd probably, 2019's case, was pretty good. And I'd say it's absolutely solid as well. Like, the worst hat in this is... For me, it's a toss-up between the public speaker the bum and the bumble beanie. Because, like, I, I got the unusual spiky viking. So it's got Pebbles the penguin and Sis and Kane as well as it gives you the Where's Waldo set for Sniper. And then it's got the Glitter and Garland and the Yule Hog, which are entertaining. But it has one of my favorite Assassin's Grade cosmetics the um, provisions cap which I absolutely love that thing and then another good one from this is the telefragger torque the talk it's pretty good and then the candy crown it's all right nothing too special and from there we go to the 2019 war paint it's Christmas war paint, but it's completely mediocre. Like the best, in my opinion, the best ones out of there were the gift wrapped and the frost ornamented. The slain style's all right. And that's like the two assassins grade ones, the Smithmas village and the Smithmas camo. And then the elite, the winter land wrapped. They're all meh. And from there we will move on to winter 2020. Now I'm kind of, I'll be honest, I'm kind of surprised I never did an unboxing with the winter 2020 cases. I, I know there's a few in there that I love. But out of the winter 2020 cosmetic crates, it's like completely mediocre like the best it gave us two more towering hats and I unboxed the shoestring Santa off that but it's like the elf care provider the festive flip flops the jolly jingler the candy cantlers the, f the goddamn festive fascinator look it up if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about like there's not hardly anything good in this one it makes me question why the hell I even opened one and from there I'm gonna stop talking about that one and move on to the 2021 case which I also think is completely mediocre so I'd almost say about average but you know what? I'll, I'll I'll move it to about average because the ominous offering has jiggle bone physics and that was pretty cool. The Mushenko was is awesome, and then the festive frames are amazing. The train of thought's pretty cool, and then uh, the coolest thing with the elite in this one, the oh dear. I don't know what overlooked it or if it got patched, but at, like when it first came out, you could have three different ones. 
selected to be on at the same time. So it's like, eh. but yeah. Um, this one, like, barring the frames. Oh, and then the El Fiesta Bur Burero is pretty cool. So it's like, barring the frames, the Mushanka and the Ominous Offering. There's it's very close like there's a reason it's down here because it almost fits right there next to it and then from there so finally we make it to the winter 2022 cosmetic case and it is absolutely solid big selling points for this one at least for me were the lumber cap the Glasgow bankroll, the frostbite bonnet, Colonel Kringle, and then some of the better at or some of the cool ads with it were the heavy heating, the soft hard hat. Partisan's all right. It wasn't really my favorite. I don't I don't get why Spy needed another suit with the cold blooded coat, and he got the infiltrator's insulator, which. But the Firebrand was pretty good. The Oktoberfest is a pretty nifty hat. Festive Rack's all right. The big outlier for this one was the Motley Sleeves, which confused me why they were in here. It was kind of like, I don't know if they were just throwing it in as a last-minute ad. The Festive Rack's pretty good. And then there's, lastly, the Trapper's Flap, which is pretty cool for an elite grade. It's got three different styles. One, uh, one style that just works for everything. And then a different one for Medic and for Spy. And then the rest of the classes share just the same basic one for the other style. So it's pretty interesting. But, yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, make sure to tell me where I messed up by placing your favorite crate somewhere else. And how much you enjoyed this. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.